story and I'm sticking to it. Come on. Corey Brad of StoryCounty.News live here in downtown Nevada, and we'll pan around here. Uh, Corey Brad with you. We're watching uh, the kind of the transition period between a couple different music acts here uh, near the intersection of K Avenue and 6th Street as uh, we've got the boys just finishing up and Jesse Wilson having already taken the stage. Lots of fun events still uh, to take place here this afternoon. And so far, so good as far as weather is concerned, folks. We had rain and thunderstorms early this morning here in Story County, but things are so far so good. So local artists continuing to perform each hour um, here locally. Um, Ashley Holloway up next, Luke Fox, Monica Austin, and Goat Feather Feathers. Uh, if you missed our preview article on the website, head over to storycounty.news. Uh, one of our writers, Emily Barger, did a tremendous article on some of the new features of the uh, festival this year. But again, it's going on right now here in downtown Nevada. And I cannot stress this enough. Our sponsors that have helped make these live streams possible, please support them and support the local businesses that have helped to make this event possible. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's very rare to be able to get... Uh, the, the types of names that uh, Nevada has attracted, like Aaron Tipp and Colin Ray, Sammy Kershaw, who will all take the main stage this evening, support the show if at all possible. It's a rain or shine show live down by City Hall um, at approximately 7 p.m. tonight. Gates opening at 6 p.m. Um, our sponsors for our live streams here at StoryCounty.News. I'm going to run through them here as we uh, open up our coverage for the day. Aspen Waste Systems, they're with us for the second straight year. They provide both commercial and residential trash services in Story County and across central Iowa. It's their 33rd total year in business. They've been in Story County since 2010. They're hiring mechanics and drivers with competitive wages and benefits. You can apply at AspenWaste.com. You can also find the link in the description of this video on Facebook. Also, Iowa Eats, the triumphant return of Iowa Eats, formerly My Town to Go. You might recognize the name there. Support Local, uh, they're back in business. They've been in business up in Mason City. Uh, they are taking care of your local food delivery needs in the Ames, Nevada, Boone, Gilbert, Story City, Slater, Huxley, etc. area. Visit iowaeats.com. That's iowaeats with a Z dot com or download the Iowa Eats app and use the code storycounty.news. OK, you look at my shirt. That's the code storycounty.news for free delivery on your next order. And Josue Alvarez down at Greg Young in Newton. They're selling new Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Ford Chevys and he'll take care of your new and used car purchasing needs. Call him at 641-519-0828. 641-519-0828. Again, Corey Bradda here, StoryCounty.News, live at the Pizza Pilooza Festival. Last year we had a haboob, a windstorm, a dust storm. We'll try to avoid that this time. Hopefully we keep uh, the rain away and, and we'll be able to enjoy the activities. But plenty of stuff. Get out here to downtown Nevada, live here at the Pizza Pilooza Festival. We'll talk with you soon here at StoryCounty.News. Corey Bratta here, StoryCounty.News. I'm live standing next to Run Nevada uh, President, Board of Directors President Dane Nielsen. And Dane, uh, first of all, it's good to see you again. Third straight year, at least for us being out here and being a part of this. And this event has only grown. Of course, we're talking about the Pizza Pilooza Festival, which is well underway. Um, successful run this morning. And of course, with music starting at one. Just talk about the day so far. I got the sun peeking out. The forecast looked dicey earlier, but so far, so good. I cannot believe how fortunate we are today so far with the weather uh had a couple raindrops right after the race this morning but otherwise we have been a-okay so far today and i'm just i'm thrilled by it we have had a, a really cool start to uh the music this afternoon jesse wilson being one the boys ashley holloway on the stage now talk about the rest of the evening if people are home worried about the weather wanting to stay dry Give them some ambition to get out here and, and support local and, and enjoy some music. Well, I don't know if they can hear the sound behind me, but uh, Ashley's tearing up the stage right now. We've got great acts the rest of the afternoon. Um, after this, we've got Luke Fox coming up from Des Moines. Uh, Monica Austin, who was just named uh, the Midwest CMO Entertainer of the Year. And then, of course, Goat Feathers at 6 o'clock. Um, and then Chase McDaniel takes the stage at 7 and then uh, Roots and Boots. So, I mean, we've just got a great afternoon of music. Um, it's sunny out here right now. Nice breeze. I tell you, the weather is is great, and uh, we've got plans if it turns not great, but it's it's a great day, and we hope people will come out. And it's a rain or shine event. Of course, the main stage, uh, gates opening at 6. Uh, we got four great acts this evening on the main stage. Talk about Chase McDaniels and the Roots and Boots guys. Yeah, Chase McDaniel, I tell you, he is, uh, 
He's got quite a following on, on social media, on the internet. He's, uh, he's really kind of taken off in that regard. His last single debuted at number one on the iTunes singles charts, uh, so, or downloads charts. So he's definitely uh, got a following out there. He's, he'll put on a great show. I'm excited to see him. And then, of course, Aaron and Sammy and Colin, the three of them on stage together is just a party. So um, it's going to be a great night. Chase has got a little bit of Sam Hunt in him, right? He's, he's kind of got that mold. Oh, absolutely he does. Yep, I, I think that's a pretty apt comparison. And, and just pairing it with a, a few uh, big names from the 90s will be a, a really cool uh, grouping this evening. Um, last year you had Jody Messina. Uh, I have to ask you this question. Talk about timing where you have Jody Messina come to Nevada, which is obviously a historic thing. And then Cole Swindell comes out with this song, She Had Me at Heads Carolina, which has been a massive, massive country hit. In fact, he just performed it at the ACM Awards the other night. Just talk about that. Jody, by the way, was in the music video uh, part of that. But just talk about how, what were you feeling last summer, just months after that song taken off? You know, last, last summer was just an amazing feeling just to get the Pizza Pilooza thing off the ground. Having her here, she was great to work with, put on a great show. I'm going to go ahead and claim credit and say we put her back on the map after she performed in Nevada, Iowa. It was awesome. And, uh, yeah, again, a great act, a great lineup of acts, not only this evening but throughout the afternoon. Get down here. We're standing right near the intersection of 6th Street and K Avenue, right next to uh, the bank, the State Bank and Trust uh, here in Nevada. So get down to the Pizza Pie Lusa Festival. We want to thank our sponsors here uh, at StoryCounty.News. Iowa Eats, they're a local company. Uh, they uh, formerly uh, here, Kevin Mahoney, owner of Iowa Eats. Uh, he's come back into the community to start this business up, support local folks. And I know, Dane, you would, you would echo the same sentiments about the many sponsors who have supported this stuff. I and mean, we can't have this type of coverage and this type of an event without our local businesses. So definitely support Iowa Eats. You can visit their website, iowaeatswithaz.com, Iowa Eats with a Z there, dot com, or download the Iowa Eats app. You can use the promo code storycounty.news, storycounty.news for uh, free delivery on your next order. And a Josue Alvarez, he's down at Greg Young in Newton, which is not a Story County business, but Josue has been great about sponsoring our coverage here in central Iowa, including here at the Pizza Pie Lusa Festival. Uh, they're selling new uh, Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Chevy. Call Josue at 641-519-0828. Again, Josue Alvarez down at Greg Young in Newton. Dane, we'll uh, try to touch base with you later on in the day. We'll talk to, we're will talk we going to try to talk to the chief. We're going to talk to the uh, the mayor as well. But congratulations so far. Another great event. Let's hope the weather stays off. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Corey Brown of StoryCounty.News with Board of Directors for Run Nevada, D Dane Nielsen. We will talk to you soon here at the Pizza Pie Lusa Festival in Nevada. Corey Brad of StoryCounty.News here, and I'm standing next to Steve Skaggs of the Camelot uh, Theater. Uh, he's a board member here, and uh, a lot of work has gone into this beautiful facility, Steve, and we're going to talk about some of the renovations. Before we get to that, I want to give a quick plug to our sponsors. We're, of course, here at the Pizza Pie Lusa Festival. Lots of great activities, great event for the city of Nevada, and a great event for downtown. A lot of great renovations and improvements, not just with Camelot, but throughout the downtown district. So get down here, great music, and we've got some big shows this evening. We want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Aspen Waste Systems. They've been providing commercial uh, and residential trash services across Story County since 2010. It's their 33rd year in business uh, in central Iowa. They're hiring. Uh, visit www.aspenwaste.com. Uh, you can click the link in the description of this video. Also, Iowa Eats, they're a uh, kind of a new company, but they've also been around, if you remember the old My Town to Go, one of the first, actually the first, local delivery service in Ames, and they're back under the name Iowa Eats. Visit iowaeats.com. That's eats with a Z. iowaeatswithaz.com. You can also download the Iowa Eats app. Use the promo code storycounty.news for a discount off your first order. We appreciate Iowa Eats. Be sure to support local. And we got so many people doing that this evening here, Steve. And we appreciate you taking the time. Uh, first of all, how long have you been out here today? This is a, a quite a display. You're, of course, showing off the renovations that have been occurring 
over the last year plus. We got an update a year ago in here. Talk about just the day and, and, and what this is like to be able to show off this beautiful facility. Uh, it's been a great day down at the Camelot today. Uh, we're so happy to be part of Pizza Pie Lusa. We've actually had Frito Pies here today, so that was our connection to the, the event. Um, so this is actually, today is a fundraiser for us, so selling the concessions. Uh, we actually had uh, Chad Carr with Trivia and played music. And you guys have been really working hard at getting this site remodeled, this, this location. It's such a historic trademark here in Nevada and, and for central Iowa. Um, a year ago, we got a chance to tour that. And we're going to do that behind the scenes. We'll, we'll turn off the live feed and we'll go back again this year and kind of get an idea for the progress that's been made. But talk about the last year, Steve, and, and what's been done here at Camelot. We, uh, we've been pretty busy during the last year. Um, you know, the, the first uh, thing we had to do was get the theater uh, secured. We had to seal up the envelope against water damage, make sure no further damage was going to occur. So we've got that done now. We've chemically stripped the front of the building, revealing the original uh, 1928 uh, green glass brick on there. It's a really cool look. Uh, we have uh, somebody, Redbird Restorations, restoring our windows right now. They're doing a great job taking the original windows, rebuild them just like they were when they were brand new. And we have demoed our two apartments upstairs. So we actually have two apartments that we're going to uh, uh, finish out and rent out so that we've got income coming in for the theater to make it sustainable for the future. So we've got a lot done so far, and uh, we've got a lot to go yet. So we, uh, we're just a year, about a year and a half into our project now. Um, we have raised about $800,000, $850,000 so far. Uh, we have actually a, a total bill we're estimating about $2 million at this point. So we've got a long way to go. So we're still out there hitting the streets, asking for, for uh, donations, um, uh, writing those grants, writing a lot of grants. We're experts at writing grants now, apparently. So uh, uh, we're having a lot of success there. We're getting a lot of uh, momentum, uh, and things are going pretty well right now. Talk a little bit about um, the history of this theater and uh, it's stayed active throughout the years and uh, the talent that's come through here and just the uniqueness of this venue. Talk a little bit about that. So this theater's been in downtown Nevada since 1928. It's what they call an atmospheric theater, where when you walk in the auditorium, it looks like you're sitting outside. There's little twinkling stars up above, uh, architectural elements. So it's a really cool place to come see a show, and it's mostly original inside. So this theater is like uh, you know, the cornerstone of our downtown district, um, you know, and we're, we're trying to turn this into the, you know, the real jewel of our downtown that it should be and making an attraction where people want to come. So, you know, we're going to have shows, uh, musicals, movies, um, you know, every kind of event that you can think of here. Uh, we're actually creating a small restaurant next door that will be connected to the theater so you can come have uh, food and, and a little drink uh, before the show if you like. Able to take a look inside? Yes. Come on. Are we able to do that real quick? Do you have... Yeah, that's still set. Okay. I talked myself out of it. Actually had trivia uh, yeah. going on, and then uh, during the questions, uh, we had a live performer uh, playing uh, tunes up here, so it was pretty cool. So you can see some of the, the architectural features I talked about. Actually, some of these lights are from old uh, Des Moines area theaters, uh, that you know, big grand theaters they used to have that were torn down, and they brought them here. Uh, in the meantime, so you can see we've had, got some water damage to patch up. But uh, and so, um, what do the apartments look like now? Uh, we have the two apartments upstairs are totally gutted down to they the studs. Um, we actually wow. took off the ceiling and everything, so you know we'll have that cool vintage look where you got the wood beams running across yeah. and it makes a real tall ceiling up there. Very cool. And so, uh, it, it's you said two apartments. Are they one bedroom, two bedroom? Uh, they'll be uh, one bedroom, both of them. Both yeah, they're not bedroom. not real big. Uh, the second one, the second floor one's not too bad size. But... How, how how long as far as uh... Projection. I mean, I know a lot of this just is dependent on funding, but they'll, they'll how be, long are we They'll be done at? in six months or less. Oh, in six months or yeah, less. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And when will, we, when will you start leasing those out? Um, uh, hopefully early next year. We got to, uh, yeah, so we got a few things to work through there, but uh, as long as construction goes well, we'll be ready to rent those out before the end of the year. Yeah. I'm guessing those won't be on the market long. I don't think so. I think they're going to be really cool. Yeah. We do have to find someone who doesn't mind a little loud music on Friday and Saturday night. You you know, you, it's not loud in there, but you can still hear a little bit. Yeah. So, so uh, right. maybe a music exactly. lover will hook them up with some tickets or something. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> part of the rent, part of the rent. Awesome. Perfect. Well, this is awesome, Steve. We appreciate it. And All right. Appreciate you guys coming in. No, no, that's not your fault. Like I I, what do you do, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we'll have yep. to troubleshoot, but it's the same issue we had. Well, it's not the same issue we had.
Corey Brad of StoryCounty.News here. We're standing in downtown Nevada at the Pizza Pie Lusa Festival, and I'm joined by the city that's mayor. That's uh, Mr. Brett Barker, who's here with us again. And Brett, good to see you. And uh, boy, uh, just a great feel to be back out here. And the the rain has stayed away. Uh, we had some thunderstorms earlier. I'm sure that made you and everybody, all the other organizers, nervous. But it's been a good day. We got live entertainment behind us here, and we've got a great evening still ahead. Just talk about what this event, the second year of this event formally as the Pizza Pilooza Festival, what it means to the city. Yeah, I mean, obviously we're really excited about it. I don't know how Mother Nature missed us today, but I'm glad she did. Um, there's a ton of people downtown. I think the crowd's bigger than last year, really building upon uh, each year, year by year. But really what we're trying to do is just really showcase what we're trying to do here in our Main Street District. We've invested a lot from the infrastructure project to our buildings and our Main Street buildings, bringing in new businesses. There's just a lot of neat new things happening here, and we're really excited to be able to showcase that. We uh, unfortunately had some signal issues over at the Camelot Theater, but man, that is a great facility that's going to be going through a, it's already going through a massive renovation. Um, but just the history in this downtown is, is something special. Just talk about what it's like to be able to show that off. Yeah, I mean, Nevada um, has a long history, over 150 years, a lot of these buildings have stood. And really, you know, being the county seat, it really was a place where a lot of the people in the county came and invested. So we have incredible architecture here, and it's great to be able to pres preserve that for future generations and really invest back into this downtown. You spent some time in the dunk tank today. What was that like? Uh, could have been worse. It was a little bit cold, but uh, yeah, I had a long line about the same as the middle school teacher, so I'm not sure that's a good thing that I had a line about as long as middle school teachers, but it helps the Boy Scouts, so it's a good cause. Couldn't have been as long as the county assessor. I don't know. His, his doesn't seem that long. I'm surprised, but you know. <laughs> so we have had, I mean, if you go back two years to the uh, Run Country Fest and 5K with Brian White and Wade Hayes, last year you get Jody Messina. I mentioned to Dane Nielsen, you have this Cole Swindell song, Take Off shortly after Jody Messina comes to Nevada, and this year with the Roots and Boots Tour with Aaron Tippin and Colin Ray and Sammy Kershaw and, and Chase McDaniel, who's a really up-and-coming uh, young country guy. Um, kind of a last plug, Brett, just to get people down here. Uh, they can buy tickets at the door or online. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it'll be a great night. The weather's perfect for it. We have it really set up well. You know, I keep calling it Nevada's biggest party. Um, we're going to have a lot of people here. You know, those three acts are absolutely incredible. Whether you know them or not, I mean, you probably do know them, if, even if you don't, once you hear their stuff, because they were staples of country radio for a long, long time. And, we, yeah, we're really excited to hear from Chase McDaniel himself, who's been at the top of some streaming charts on iTunes. And so I think he's really going to be a name here in years to come, too. And, of course, uh, one thing you can do, in addition to just getting great music, great food, is support local businesses who have been a big part of making all this happen, Brett, and uh, such a big foundation of uh, small-town Iowa. And, of course, we've got uh, sponsors to thank here at StoryCounty.News as well that have made this streaming live streaming here at the Pizza Pie Lusa Festival possible. Uh, Josue Alvarez, who, uh, you know, he's, he's selling for Greg Young down in Newton, and uh, we really appreciate that. Although Greg Young's not in, this, in Story County, boy, he's been really supporting the Story County coverage. He appreciates local news coverage, and we appreciate him. So certainly check out uh, Josue Alvarez down at Greg Young. Uh, they're taking care of your uh, new car needs, whether you're talking Chevy, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, Ford, and, uh, of course, some used car needs as well. Call Josue at 641-519-0828, 641-519-0828. That's Josue Alvarez at Greg Young uh, in Newton. And also Iowa Eats, which is a Story County and Ames company. They are back uh, and uh, ready to give you great service out of Ames. Support a local company with Iowa Eats for your restaurant delivery needs, your food needs, uh, serving Ames in the surrounding area. Go to iowaeats.com. That's Iowa Eats with a Z. Or download the Iowa Eats app and use the promo code storycounty.news. And, of course, <laughs> as the... As the as the, uh, the uh, dumpster guys go to go to work here, I guess it's fitting that we should give a plug to Aspen Waste because they've they've been a part of our coverage here for the last couple of years, and they are hiring both mechanics and drivers with competitive wages and benefits. They've been in this county, folks, doing business since 2010, and they've been in Central Iowa since well 33 years. This is their 33rd year in business here in Central Iowa. Apply online at AspenWaste.com. Mayor Brett Barker here at the City of Ames at the Pizza Pie Lusa Festival. Brett. Appreciate you taking the time and uh, enjoy another memorable and historic night here in downtown Nevada. Thanks, you too. Can't wait for year three next year, so we'll be talking then. Corey Brad here at StoryCounty.News. I'm live with the police chief, the uh, chief of uh, the city of Nevada, and uh, Ricardo Martinez is with us. And uh, Chief, first of all, it's a pleasure being here with you. You've seen this event grow over the last few years. We just got done talking to the mayor, and we've talked to uh, Dane Nielsen, who's a big part of the planning here. 
but just your thoughts on being able to, to see that people flock to downtown Nevada and, and show off what has been a transformed downtown district. Yes, absolutely. Uh, a few years ago, we did a whole new re restructuring in the downtown area, tore up the road, all kinds of stuff, and we're re bouncing back from that. And this is a great example of some of the work we've done and moving forward and promoting our community as much as we can. And uh, country, are you a country guy? You be honest. Uh, no. <laughs> Country's fine. It's just not my taste. So what does Chief Martinez listen to in his downtime? Rock. Rock? Like what rock? Like 80s rock? 90s rock? Um, 70s. 70s and 80s. And just so you'll know, I like disco. So you like, You're a disco guy. Yes. <laughs> so what, like, what's on your playlist? Sticks? Are you like a, are you like a, De I'm trying to think 70s. Def Leppard, like, uh, uh, Queen, um, oh. Elton John. Pink Floyd? Pink Floyd. Oh, Pink Floyd's a great one. The Doors? Uh, the Doors, uh, Billy Joel, ELO. All right. Okay, I, I, for starters. So, well, we've got something to aspire for in, in future festivals here at the Pizza Palooza Festival. So, all joking aside, though, this is a kind of a bittersweet year for you. This is a this is going to be your final year as the chief. Yes. You've been here since 04. You've been the chief since 11. Yes. Am I getting that right? Uh and you haven't been, you know, real public with it, but it's it's out there. Uh, just your thoughts on on your career winding down. You've been uh, you've been part of the law enforcement a long, long time. Yes. Um, it there are pros and cons. Um, there are some things I really like about the job, and I'm going to miss. Other things, not so much. Um, events like this, I really like that. I like to go down, see people smiling, kids playing. You know, people doing business, that's always a good time, you know. But we're down here because there are some people that cause problems and we don't want problems, you know. So, but, but yes, uh, it is a bittersweet year. So I'm, I'll miss it, I'm sure. After you, after 38 years, yeah. And for anybody that doesn't know, you you told me before we went live, you were, were in Clinton, Iowa. You're an Iowa guy. How long have you been in the state of Iowa? Oh, gee, I think since 81. Yeah. So will you stay here after retirement? I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying here in Nevada. Good for you. He's a Nevada guy now. So, Rick, we, we, we obviously are awaiting uh, a star-studded group of country singers this evening, which is awesome for the city. Um, when you look at the progress that's been made to the Camelot, we talked about some of the downtown improvements and the different businesses that have come in here, um, and certainly the support from the local sponsors. And we've got some sponsors that are helping us with the live streaming this evening. What can you say about just the local? That's got to be a... a a positive when you look at your job as uh, public safety director in chief to be able to see businesses come together and put on a great event. Yes, absolutely. It's really good to see a lot of our businesses, our city staff, our community bonding together to, to be involved in these kind of events. Promoting our community is, is, is primary, is what we want to do. And, you know, some of the things that we got going on there, we got Verbio. Is an upcoming uh, corporation. Burke has been expanding. Uh, you know, so we have other businesses that are doing all these things and investing in our community. And this is one way that we can celebrate that. And speaking of sponsors, I mentioned the, the people who are helping with the live streaming here at StoryCounty.News as we continue to try to give local news coverage and a voice to people who want to hear what's going on in the local community. Of course, Aspen Waste Systems, they've been uh, around the community for a long, long time, since 2010. They're hiring right now. They're in their 33rd year of total business here in central Iowa. They're hiring both mechanics and drivers. You can apply at AspenWaste.com. Also, Iowa Eats is a new Ames business, locally owned, formerly My Town to Go. Uh, Kevin Mahoney's back and uh, providing great service to restaurants and consumers across the county. Certainly check them out. Visit iowaeats.com. That's Iowa Eats with a Z. And you can use the promo code storycounty.news for free delivery on your first order. And also Josue Alvarez down at Greg Young. Give him a call at 641-519-0828 for uh, your uh, used and new car purchasing needs. Uh, Chief, final question I want to ask you. So obviously it's been a difficult few years for everybody we're talking about the pandemic and just all the issues that have gone on do you feel like you've kind of come out on the other side of this now i mean what what has what has the last few years for people who don't know how difficult it has been to be on this side of of the of the the turmoil and the difficulties what's it been like for law enforcement and and do you feel like you've come out on the other side of some of these issues i still think we got a ways to go um we are every agency in the state that i'm aware of are having problems recruiting and retaining officers. 
because of a lot of the issues that are taking place. That's going to be a struggle for a while. I, I don't see that going away in the near future, but we'll work through it. We've had issues in the past and we've worked through it. This is just another one of those. It's going to take a little longer than we'd like. And if people want to be able to, to be more in touch with, with their local law enforcement, like, like the, the city of Nevada Police Department, how can they go about asking questions and reaching out to you as law enforcement to, to feel like they're more in touch with what's, what's, what's going on? Well, certainly we can always call if you have questions, speak to an officer. Uh, we also have a city website where um, there's a form you can fill out. If you have questions, um, you have concerns, anything along those lines, it's sent to the appropriate department head and then we answer those questions as best we can. But if you don't know, ask. You know, there's a lot of people out there that they hear this and they hear that. You know what? Why don't you just ask and find out? We'll, t we'll tell you the truth. There's nothing to hide, you know, and so if you don't understand something, ask, you know, and, and I would urge people to do that. Public Safety Director uh, Ricardo Martinez. Ricardo, it's been a pleasure, and uh, we'll talk to you again before you officially hang it up here later this year, but uh, uh, certainly appreciate you taking the time, and you're going to enjoy retirement right here in Surrey County. I am. Yes, I am. All right, folks, for Chief uh, Ricardo Martinez, I'm Corey Brad of StoryCounty.News. We've got live music, country music from Aaron Tippin, Colin Ray, and Sammy Kershaw all coming up here near City Hall here in downtown Nevada. We'll talk to you soon. Country music's made me do a lot of crazy things in my life. One of them is moving to Nashville. Oh, wow, it's really coming down. Not good. Not good. Not good. What do you think, Corey? What are your bad, thoughts? Bad timing, but uh, we, we've got sunshine in the west, so uh, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Corey Braddock, StoryCounty.News here outside of City Hall here in downtown Nevada. It's been an action-packed Saturday, as it is each and every time Run Nevada organizes something. And, uh, of course, uh, we've talked about the many businesses who have been a part of this festival and making sure uh, this committee and this group was able to, to uh, land artists like Sammy Kershaw, like Colin Ray, like... Uh, well, Chase McDaniel, who just left the stage, and Aaron Tippin also about to take the stage. This is last call, folks. If you haven't made it down here yet for the concert, you can buy tickets at the gate. But get down here right away because Jason McDaniel's through. In fact, if you pan over here to your left, John, our cameraman, we're going to see uh, that's Chase McDaniel. I think the, the tree might be blocking you. <laughs> Let's you see it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Chase McDaniel's over there talking to fans and signing T-shirts and selling merchandise. But, again, the main attraction this evening, Sammy Kershaw, Aaron Tipp, and Colin Ray, three big-time country people from the 90s. Uh, they are set to take the stage here at the Pizza Palooza Festival. So a lot of work going into what uh, happened today and what's been going on for months behind the scenes to help make this happen. And, of course, we want to thank our sponsors here at, at StoryCounty.News uh, that have helped to make these live streams possible. And, of course, the reason we do these live streams for anybody new to StoryCounty.News and our platform, of course, we are an online blog or news site. We also have a Facebook page that we're active on. We are trying to provide local news coverage to people in the community. And these types of events are the types of events that I enjoy covering personally. I think my cameraman, John, enjoys them as well. Uh, it's a testament to the power of small town Iowa. And uh, you see people coming together, and it's just a great thing. So I want to give a shout-out to our sponsors, Aspen Waste Systems. Uh, they, of course, provide commercial and residential trash services in Story County. They've been doing so since 2010. 
They've also been doing business in central Iowa for 33 years. They're hiring mechanics and drivers. Go to AspenWaste.com and click or click on the link in the description of this video to apply for a job with Aspen Waste. And also, Josue Alvarez selling great cars at a great rate down at Greg Young. Chevrolet, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ford, Ram. Uh, he is in Newton, but he's taking care of people across central Iowa, and he's been a big supporter of what we're doing here in Story County. So we appreciate Josue. Again, give him a call. Uh, Josue Alvarez at Greg Young in Newton, 641-519-0828. 641-519-0828. And again, he's taking care of all your needs. And I didn't mention this earlier, but I should throw this out there. Right now, for a limited time only, Josue is offering a $100 Casey's gas card to whoever makes a purchase through him at Greg Young, whether it be a new car purchase or a used car purchase, if you mention that you heard this spot here at StoryCounty.News. So mention StoryCounty.News to Josue Alvarez. Again, that number is 641-519-0828. And I know Josue personally will take care of you and, and make sure you get a great deal uh, on a great vehicle. So. Again, a few minutes here as we count down the, the uh, minutes until Aaron Tippin, Sammy Kershaw, Colin Ray, and the Roots and Boots Tour take center stage here down near City Hall in downtown Nevada to cap off what has been a very fun Pizza Palooza Festival here in Story County. I'm Corey Bratta, StoryCounty.News. We'll talk to you one or two final times. We'll talk to you again here this evening before the end of the night. But again, last chance to get down here at City Hall. Tonight, if you haven't heard this song after tonight, this band will make sure that you will always remember this song. It's a groove thing, man, is what it is. I sure hope you like it.
Bradford, Brad Astori, County News here, wrapping up things at the Pizza Pie Lusa Festival in downtown Nevada, and uh, quite a trio of entertainers, part of the uh, Roots and Boots Tour, and Colin Ray, Sammy Kershaw, and Aaron Tippman did not disappoint. All three great entertainers. Aaron has got that uh, country twang that you just can't <laughs> you just can't replicate unless you have the, the Aaron Tippin. Uh, jeans, I guess. And of course, Colin Ray, so smooth, his vocals. Sammy Kershaw, great performer. You could tell he was laboring this evening, was dealing with a, a shoulder injury. He told some people here at the uh, the concert that uh, he had had an injury, and, and you could tell he was doing his best out there. But three great people, great country musicians, and a great time here. Great event, folks. Uh, this has been, this is the second year, second annual uh, Pizza by Lusa Festival, and I would say as great as Jody Messina was last year, the entire day uh, bested what we saw last year. Just great help from organizers, volunteers, local businesses, everybody who made this possible. And it's just great for, this, for the county. And we're happy at storycounty.news to be able to be out here and give some people some live cut-ins. If you weren't able to make it down, uh, certainly try to do that here in the future. But uh, we're happy to be here and we're happy that we've had a nice crowd, really nice crowd that showed up to our, our uh, concert this evening and uh, to the downtown district, the beautiful, revitalized downtown Nevada district. I want to give one final shout out to our sponsors, the businesses that we're asking you to support because they have supported our coverage here. They care about local news coverage as you do. So please support Aspen Waste Systems. Uh, they've, they're actually hiring right now. So if you're interested in, in work, uh, go to aspenwaste.com. They've been in the business for 33 years, folks. They've been around Story County since 2010. They offer competitive wages and benefits. Go to AspenWaste.com. Also, Iowa Eats. Talk about supporting a local company. Iowa Eats for all of your, your restaurant food delivery needs in the Ames, Nevada, Boone, Gilbert, Story City, Slater, Huxley, etc. area. And, of course, you can visit them online at IowaEats.com. That's IowaEats, E-A-T-Z.com. IowaEats.com, or you can download their app, the Iowa Eats app. Use that code uh, storycounty.news, the promo code storycounty.news, like our company, for free delivery on your next order. How about that deal from uh, Iowa Eats? And of course, Josue Alvarez down at Greg Young. And of course, if you're needing a new or used car, Josue will take care of you. Uh, great guy, and he'll get you a great rate, great deal on a new or used car. Call Josue at 641 519 0828. Again, that's 641 519 0828. Whether you're talking a Jeep, Dodge, Chrysler, Ram, whatever the case may be, Ford, he'll get you taken care of. Again, for everybody here, Dane Nielsen, Mayor Brett Barker, we talked with uh, uh, Police Chief Ricardo Martinez earlier. Uh, we talked to some people over at the Camelot Theater. Lots of great things still happening here, and I'm sure a year from now we'll have uh, even more progress at the Camelot, which is such an unbelievable place. So it's been a fun day, folks, and for the most part, I think everybody behaved. Uh, I don't. I did not see any uh, medical emergencies, nothing bad like that, except the Sammy Kershaw shoulder. So that's always a positive thing. Again, if you are new to the channel, or new to the, I should say, not the channel, but the Facebook page or the website, be sure to drop us a follow. Please tell your friends about what we're doing here to keep local, independently owned news coverage alive here in Story County. And uh, be sure to check out our website, storycounty.news. And if you're a sponsor, you're interested in helping the website grow and helping local news coverage, reach out to us. You can find our contact information by visiting www.storycounty.news. For my cameraman, John Argias, my name's Corey Bratta. We've been here all day. We appreciate the action. We appreciate uh, everybody listening in and being a part of this wonderful festival here in Nevada. We'll talk to you next time. And residential trash services in Story County and across central Iowa. It's their 33rd total year in business. They've been in Story County since 2010. They're hiring mechanics and drivers with competitive wages and benefits. You can apply at AspenWaste.com. You can also find the link.